of this talk will be the barcode management application and more specifically the new barcode interface which has been set in place in Odoo 12. So let's start with a bit of context. Why did we especially focus on the barcode inventory management? It's because we think it can be useful for lots of, lots of companies and help them to improve on three different axes. The first one is that it can help them to save cost. Indeed, your workers will quite easily scan the barcodes of their products, so they will do it really fast, and most of the time you will have a better tracking of your stock, meaning that you will be able to keep less products in stock and it will decrease your inventory cost too. So the second point is that it will increase your efficiency. As I've just said it, your uh, workers will be able to easily and fast scan the product they need to add to their pickings, the receipt, the delivery orders that you can have, which will increase their efficiency. This will help you in the end to get a better customer service. Indeed, your orders will be delivered faster because the, because the picking will be done faster, but there will also be less mistake. So um, your customers will receive orders quickly and with the correct products. You will also run out of stock less often thanks to the fact that your inventory is tracked correctly. And why did we put so many efforts on improving uh, the interface? It's just because we realize that most of the time when you run your inventory in your warehouse, you don't want to check on your computer which product you are supposed to pick, go back to your stock, take the product, get back to your computer, and check which is the next one you want to pick in the stock. So most of the time, you will just go to the, to the warehouse and take your barcode scanner or your mobile with you. You want to be able to pick all the products, scan them in the warehouse, and go back to the next one. So that's why we um, improve the interface so that you can now easily work directly on your barcode scanners or on your mobile. Um, the barcode scanner with which we made all or tested of the new interface is the Zebra TC20 that you can see on this slide. So what is the new layout and what are the new functionalities of the application? First of all, we try to have really bigger buttons on the app. So um, you now have a menu icon on the top right corner of your screen on which you can press to get the black screen that we just see with all the different buttons, with all the actions you can make in your picking. So you can go there and decide to print your picking operation, scrap some product, validate, cancel the order. You also have bigger buttons to be able to confirm an order, discard it, or just validate um, the delivery order. Besides that, we kept the possibility of manually editing the orders. Why do we think it's important? It's because it can happen that your label has been damaged, you're not able to use the barcode which is on your product anymore, but you still want to add it to your picking. So we kept the possibility of manually adding some products to the picking. Uh, that's what you can see on this slide. And we also have the possibility to manually edit in case of errors. So if, for example, you scan the product too many times, you are able to just click on the small pencil that you can see on the right of the screen, and you will be able to manually edit uh, the number of products. Another new functionality is really uh, linked to the mobiles and um, the touch screen is that we implemented a new virtual keyboard. So if you go on your smartphone, you don't have any keyboard, each time you will have to enter a quantity manually, Odoo will open the keyboard for you and you will just be able to type the quantity manually. Um, we also have an information button, which we will see together will be on the top right corner of your screen, and which allows you to um, get information about the delivery itself or the picking itself, uh, which is close to the view and information you get in the back end of Odoo. And in the end, a new functionality which has been released is that you now have barcodes on operation type. What does it mean exactly? It means that you can enter your barcode application, just scan the barcode of the right operation type and create a picking from scratch, which was not possible before. So what I will suggest you is that we go through the demonstration. 
we will see different flows together. So the first one will be opening an existing picking, which will be a receipt order in our case, and proceed to the reception of the different products. We'll first receive them in an input location and then move them to the stock so that we see both the reception and the internal transfer. We will also see how to create a delivery from scratch with a new operation type label. So we will create a delivery and add some products to it. And in the end, we will make an inventory adjustment for the product we have directly from the barcode application. So the, the whole demonstration will be done on a screen which is close to the one you have on your mobile. So I will keep it like this so that you see how it would look like on your barcode scanner or on your mobile. So this is the home page of Odoo, and you can see that we have the barcode application right here. So this barcode application um, can easily allow you to just scan one barcode and open the right picking. So um, just before doing so, I just want to go to the products so that we can so yes so that we can have a look at how it looks like maybe in the interface like this so if you want to add a barcode to your product and work with the barcode you just have to add the barcode directly on your uh, product so that you can directly use them so you can then go to the product select them select them and print the barcode that you have. So this is as easy as this. If I now go to my barcode interface, I will be able to scan my picking. I will do it like this. So I take my picking and I just have to scan the right barcode so that it gets opened by Odoo. So you can see that's a reception. You see it easily thanks to the name that you see on the top left corner. We have my the new information button which is here, and which allows you to get more information about the picking. So you will see the scheduled date, the status, and the stock moves which are, which are supposed to take place. What I will do is that I will now scan the different products. I have here two possibilities. So the first one is that I have only a few products. I will then scan them as many times as I have the product on the picking. So that's possible for the table head and the table leg. But I have 20 screws, and it would take me quite a lot of time, maybe not with 20. But if I had put like 100, it would be a lot. So we can decide to edit manually. Here, if you are on your mobile, you just have the virtual keyboard, which allows you to type the number. So I can then confirm, and I am now able to validate my picking. So I can either do it manually, or just print the different operation barcodes, and I am then able to scan the validation. So my reception has been done. If I did not print any picking yet, I do not have the barcode, but I can still find all the operations which are ready to be processed within the application. So I now see that I have one internal transfer. Uh, due to the fact that I received my product in an input location, I can now move them from the input to the stock. So I can enter my internal transfer select the one which is ready, and I will now be able to scan my product. So once again, I do it, I made an error, okay. I can just come back, say, I made a mistake, I just want one of them, and I scan my four table legs. If I now realize that some of my screw have been damaged while moving from input to stock, I can decide to scrap my product. So I go to the menu, I decide to scrap some of them, and I can easily select the product I want to scrap. So in this case, I will only keep five screws. So Odoo will tell me I can only have 15 of them. That's the quantity which has been reserved by the solution, and I can confirm, I can validate. Odoo is suggesting me to create a back order because at the beginning I was waiting to have 20 screws moved from input to stock, but I know that they have been damaged, so I don't want any. So this was for the existing picking that you want to move with the barcode app.
we'll now see how we can um, create a new picking. So you now have the possibility to print the barcode labels on your operation type directly from the stock menu. And here I will just scan a reception, uh, sorry, a delivery. So I would like to deliver one table to my customer. So you see, you see the source location, which is the stock at the moment. And I can then just decide to add some product. So I will add a table. And my table is, in fact, tracked by lots. So after that, I just need to scan the barcode of the lot as many times as I need to add, to add it to my picking. So I can scan my, lot, scan my lot number one, and I will send four tables. And so just by doing so, I will add the products to my picking. I can then validate, and my product will be sent to the customer. So that's how you can now create new delivery orders, reception, internal transfer, as many different kinds of pickings you want that you can create in the back end, thanks to the operation types, and then directly create from the barcode application. Another new functionality is that you can make your inventory adjustment via the barcode app. So you have two possibilities. Either you go in the back end, you create an inventory adjustment, for example, for all your existing product, and then you click the small barcode button, which is there, and you can have the list of all your products and start making your inventory adjustment. Another solution is just to come in the app and go to inventory adjustment. Odoo will automatically create a new one. You can then decide to add a product manually if you want. For example, my screw. I will see that in reality, I have only 60 of them. I can confirm, but I could also add some by just scanning the barcode. So I will just check the number of tables I have in stock. I have no table at the moment. I check my table head. And I am supposed to have four of them. In fact, I realize that I have like 10. I can confirm, and I can validate. So I really decide which products I want to make the inventory for, and I scan the barcode so that they get added to the inventory adjustment. So those are the most, most of the functionalities that we have seen together. So um, as a conclusion, sorry. So as we have seen together, it's now really easy to proceed your picking directly from the barcode application, the existing one, as well as the new ones that you can create directly from scratch. Um, we also made it easier to just make the inventory adjustment via the barcode application. So it's really easy now with your mobile, you cannot make any mistakes anymore, the buttons are bigger, the view are complete, and you can do directly everything from your mobile. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Do you have any question about what we have seen? Yeah? So how about the, the log numbers or serial numbers from the software ah, So most of the time, your lot will be already created in the back end. So you create them when you receive the product. And you then just have to scan the lot numbers. So it works the same way as product. You just have to go to your lots in Odoo, and you're able to scan all the barcodes. So for that, I need the other view. I can go to my inventory, master data, lots, and serial numbers. And I can just, here I have only one, but I can select them and print the PDF. And then I will just be able to open it and scan all the lots. So most of the time, you will first have to scan the product label itself so that Odoo can identify which product we are talking about. And then you scan the lot as many times as you want to add it. Is it there? Okay. Do you have any other question? Just if you want to know more about Markod, uh, yeah. Actually, about the delivery order, uh, I'm sure I have a question. I need to know where what are the correct parts to be in the market. So most of the time, what you will do is 
if you have an existing delivery, you will see from where they have been taken. If you create them via an operation type, you will have a default source and destination location. And so according to the operation type you scan to create the picking, you will just have a specific source location. If you want to know more about location specifically, there will be another talk about barcode. At, I think it's at 5.30, given by my colleague Nicolas, who will also handle multi-location and um, put in packs and this kind of additional functionalities, which will be seen more in depth. So if you want, you're welcome. Is there any other question? Okay, thank you.